Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the 13th video as part of our series of video of our playlist of power of data analysis. Now in this video, again, I'm going to cover in two parts, part A, introduction to a very, very powerful report for data analysis is what we are going to cover. And in part B, I will cover other techniques that you can apply to further enhance your data analysis. So the report that we are going to see in today's video is data analytics, which is a very, very powerful report from the data analysis menu. Now this report is going to be very useful for the business owners as well as the auditors. Now I can say that this is the king of report for the business owners and the auditors. So let us go to Tally and explore this wonderful report of data analytics. In the previous video, we completed the techniques you can apply to verify previous year closing balance with the current year opening balance. In this video, we shall learn invaluable and highly beneficial report, especially for the business owners and definitely will be extremely helpful for auditors to analyze the current year's business trends and financial values analysis in comparison with the previous year data. The report is analytical procedures. Let us drill down to witness the magnitude of analytical capabilities this report will provide. So select analytical procedure and press enter. Let us understand the screen. One look at the screen, all of you would have got an idea of variations to report analysis and flexibility of comparative analysis. In the first field, we can observe the different data comparison. If you notice the comparison here, you can comparison any master with any other master. Like for example, you can analyze cost center to cost center, cost center to accounting group, cost center to accounting ledger, accounting group to cost center, accounting group to accounting group, accounting group to ledger and so on. Here I would want to highlight that some of the report that we configure here and view will not be available in the default reports of Tally Prime. Like for example, you can compare ledger to cost centers, cost centers to ledgers and cost center to accounting group. In any of the default reports, we cannot view the same. Let us select here. The default selection in Tally is accounting group comparison with another accounting group. The next field is base group. Here when we select any group and this selected master will act as the base value for any other group that we are going to analyze. Here we have the list of group which you can select as the base group. Let us select sales account. The next field is compare with group. Again, you get a list of all the accounting group. You can now select your comparative group to do the analytical procedure. Let me select indirect expenses. The current period from by default, it will take the current year's financial year that is from April 23 to March 24. And in the previous period from, it will take the previous year financial year as 1st of April 22 to 31st of March 23. You can use this report not just to compare current year with previous year. You can compare current year with different periods also. For example, you can analyze information related to current year broken down into second half and first half of the year or quarter on quarter or month on month, whatever is your analysis that you need to conduct. So let us leave this as it is, which is by default. So this configuration is we are going to use sales account as the base group and we are going to compare the indirect expenses against our base group of sales account. Accept, enter. Just look at the power of information at hand. Let us understand the report. On top here, it shows 
the group that we are comparing that is sales account versus indirect expenses. Since we have selected sales account as the base group here, you will see the breakup of current year and the previous year. Now the sales account will act as the base group, which means the report will take sales as base value and compare values with indirect expenses and provide variance also. If you notice here, the current year sales is higher than the previous year and it considers previous year sales as the base year. In the current year, you will notice that the sales has grown by 24.99% in comparison with previous year sales. Now let us understand these columns down here. In the particulars, indirect expenses group, along with the ledgers under indirect expenses are listed. The second column is the closing balance of all ledgers for the current year. And the next column here, tally is providing information of percentage of expenses in comparison with the current year sale. You can notice here it says percentage of A. So A is this, the total indirect expenses, if you see, constitutes 15.16% of current year sales. So how is this getting calculated? You can see here on the screen, the calculation, it takes the current year expenses value of indirect expenses, that is 9,64,858 divided by the current year sales of 63,63,510 multiplied by 100, which will give you the percentage of total indirect expenses against sales. Similarly, each expenses percentage is shown here. All these ledgers percentage will add up to 15.16 rounded off to the nearest digit. Let us take the example of office rent. Office rent in the current year constitutes 6.68% of your total sale value. Considering the current year total sale is 100%. The next column, you will observe that the closing balance of the previous year of your indirect expenses and their ledgers. This calculation is done taking the previous year sales value as the base. And the same way what we discussed here will be the percentage of expenses for the previous year. The last column here is the variance value of current year expenses versus previous year expenses. In the current year, if you notice, the variance amount is 2,92,503, which means expenses have gone up by this amount, which constitutes 43.51% in comparison with your previous year expenses. Now, how is the calculation done? You can notice here that the amount which gets calculated here is, it says X column minus Y column. X column is current year total expenses minus previous year total expenses and the various percentage is arrived taking x minus y divided by y which is your previous year closing balance which comes to 43.51 percent. The values in the bracket which is in red font is an indication that these expenses have not been incurred in the current year. This is to briefly understand how this report values are getting calculated. In the next part of analytical procedure, we shall learn how to apply other techniques to further explore this analytical report. I am sure this wonderful report of data analytics is a critical report for both the stakeholders, the business owners and the auditors. In the upcoming video as part B, we will see what are the other techniques that we can apply in this report so that you can enhance your data analytics to the next level. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.